Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Vera and Fred. And what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Vera's ability to understand and respond to her formal on-leash obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give her when we're working with her and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any correction that's needed and the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on the training collar. That is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Vera is studying to be a service dog so these obedience commands have to be perfect. She is sitting very nicely at Fred's left which is where all obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is one that's important to you and that's healing. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is Vera heal. Now her job at this point is to stay even with your left leg when you're walking. Not dragging you up the steps at the condo, not forging ahead, but letting you lead her. And each time that you stop your feet, she has been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for her next command. And this makes walking your dog a pleasure, and when you stop, she sits and waits for your direction. And the next command that we're going to demonstrate is the sit-stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command, okay. and because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one-word command. Your sit-stay helps to develop focus, self-control, and maturity. And it's giving her a sense of self. When Fred returns back to her, he walks quickly all the way around her back to heel and he stops at her shoulders. And at this point, she expects to get another command and they take off healing again. And he does talk to her and encourage her. And I've worked with her as well. And she does pull the poor me and I'm a diva and I shouldn't have to do this act, but she has to do this. Nice automatic sit. Another sit, stay. sit, stay, no. now she got up. So the first words okay. out of your mouth are going to be no when you repeat the command, sit, stay. Fred walks out to the end of his leash, he turns to face her, he has her hold that command, and then we do a come on command or a recall. She came right in, she even wagged, and she sat right in front of Fred facing his knees. And she's so funny because you can bribe her to do almost anything with food. But service dogs can't be treat motivated. So she has to do these commands for you without treats. Stay. Fred leaves her in another sit, stay. He turns to face her. And then he's going to call her. Brings her in and she's supposed to sit. And then they go back to heel. So like when you're walking through an airport, you have to have a dog that's well under control. You can't have a dog that's dragging you while you have luggage and everything else. She has to be walking nicely next to you. And that's why this healing is so important. Now the next commands that we're gonna be demonstrating for you are your down commands. And these are ones that you're gonna use when you're out with her as well. This is the down from a heel position. So with the dog seated at your left, you take your left open palm, push it straight down toward the ground and give the one word command to down and stay. And like you've always said, Vera is like Velcro. And these stationary commands where you're walking away from her and making her hold her command is very important ultimately to the success of this program. When Fred returns back to her, he walks all the way around her again as he did on the sit stay, returning all the way back to her shoulders. And when he gets back to her shoulders, she expects to get another command. And she doesn't have a choice about doing these exercises. This is not a request. Because to keep them fresh, you have to practice them. That was perfect. And quick, and the way it's supposed to look. 
So she's very smart and she will do everything in her power to convince you that she's never heard these commands before ever in her life. And this is proof that she has. Fred will call her out of that down. That was much, that was really good calm. Good, she gets praised for coming. That's always a good thing. And the last command that we're going to demonstrate for you on this video is you're down from a distance. So you're going to leave her in a sit stay. You're going to turn to face her. She can be a bit of a diva with this one. She'll try to hold out. Fred's going to use his right hand to give the command. And that was pretty darn good, Miss Vera. So we have demonstrated for you all of her basic on-leash obedience commands. We still have some work to do together once she graduates um, to get her more secure, continue to build her self-confidence, all of those things I will help you with. We've enjoyed having Miss Vera and we want to thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.